what's up guys welcome back to our channel today i'll be making a smart desk for my son sometimes i see him doing his schoolwork he's sitting in his bed with his laptop and sometimes i look he's falling asleep and i'm like okay he's too comfortable and i told him to stay by the dining table and do his schoolwork but he preferred to be in his room so i'm gonna make him a little desk a smart desk so this desk is gonna be like four feet long um probably uh, 18 inches wide so it's not gonna be all that big and i'll have a wireless charger in it uh, should i say installed in it so that's the plan for this so i already bought it on amazon i put the link for um, that part product in the description of the video so um yeah so a table of that size is about 200 dollars um in abu Dhabi. Because those are the places that I look for cheaper stuff when I'm buying cheap stuff. Um, it could cost more if you're trying to go expensive route. But then today, this is only going to cost me $25 in wood. And then I have all the tools and stuff already. And probably three hours of my time. So let's see. Let's get building. All right, guys. So I started up by measuring off the wood. I bought two pieces of 2 by 12 or 2 by 10 yeah something like that 2 by 12 it was and i split it in two and i joined these two pieces together to get like a wider tabletop so you could use glue clamps screws in this case i'm using pocket hole screws so i measured the width of the table that i need and then i cut off the excess um from the wood so i ended up with i think 20 inches wide by a four foot table that's what i'm working on right here guys so you see me there flipping it around uh, marking where i'm gonna put the screws because i'm using this thing called pocket hole so you drive some screws in there and then instead of using clamps you use the screws to pull the wood together so um when you use clamp you'll have to wait on the glue to dry with this you can Put the glue screw it up right away then i'm putting the glue there screw it up right away and continue working you don't have to wait on it to dry to remove clamps and stuff like that so that's what i did because i wanted to build this table in one day it's a one day build i had a day off and i just wanted to do it so that's what i'm doing guys so that's the tabletop right there it's done already that's the tabletop so um instead of making it just square like that i uh, I, I wanted to make a little a little design on the edge um, just to run it around a bit so I use this little sander that I have um, I paid like $50 for this at um, Home Depot I think you can get it on Amazon as well and I had this um, other bigger sander that I wanted to knock down some of the wood because this is like rough wood that you bought at Home Depot so um, it did need a lot but because I wanted it to be smooth and perfect so I sanded around all sides of it just to knock off any little wood fiber because it's cheap wood it, it, this is construction grade wood this is not furniture wood but who cares no one cares at this point so I'm using that other little tool that I paid like $70 for at Home Depot so I'm just using it to um, give the wood shape and that's basically it guys it, it's so simple and um, because it's soft wood uh, you got to be careful how you handle it so because i was bouncing it around i'm here just um knocking out the little um divots in the wood because anything can damage it anything can squeeze it so it's, it's strong but it in, in other words it's still soft so if you drop something on it it could dent the wood and i'm just trying to make it look good um that way you know he gets a good product so i have a stain right here i paid ten dollars for this in home depot again um you can get it online at amazon as well i'll try to link it on amazon just in case you don't want to go walk go to home depot um two days delivery amazon delivery so that's it i put one coat on it and it was so nice and light guys um but because i wanted it darker a little bit darker than that I end up putting on another coat of this. So this is stain mixed with poly, polyurethane. Poly is like a plastic thing. The stain gives the color and the poly is a little plastic thing that 
helps to keep it um, shiny and, and, and good for a long time. You know, it helps to resist scratches. So that's it, guys. Literally just a few minutes after I flipped it over and I painted the other side. Um, as you can see there and then I put that aside now I'm working on the legs guys so this is super super easy um, I'm using 2 by 4 wood and what I did so 2 by 4 I split it down the middle so now I end up with 2 by 2s guys um, it's just some tiny legs nothing crazy nothing fancy um, just simple legs so um, you know it's a, if it's a 4 by 20 4 feet by 20 inches wide table you're gonna need um some rails like probably um four inches less than four feet which is like 44 inches so you're gonna need two 44 inches long piece um two um 18 inches pieces this is gonna make the frame of the table and then um after making the frame then you're gonna put the top the tabletop on it so I'm using this little device here to cut um, the, the, the wood square. Um, you don't have to use this. You can use any little saw just to do it. But because I had it, I have the tools. So I'm not using it just to be fancy. But technically, you don't need it. Any little saw, measure, cut, and that's it. All right, guys. So that's me splitting down the middle of the 2x4. Um, that way, I end up with 2 by 2s And that's all I need. Um, just some narrow legs nothing fancy again guys it's just a simple little table and that's all we need is it's my son using it it's not like we're putting on load on it or anything it's just something to be simple just keep him off the bed um because you know guys if you're studying and you're too comfortable you know what's gonna happen sleep all right guys so remember when you're using power tools always be safe i'm wearing my goggles there uh just in case splinter fly back i i don't lose my eyes so um that's it guys and try to be safe keep keep your your hands away from the blades and stuff like that guys so that's it it's a one day build as i said and i'm just trying to make everything um go along in one day so you know i i, I wasn't like 24 hours at this i stopped and i did other things because this can be tedious and boring um, you know, I stop go hang out with the kids while the paint is drying, the stain is drying, and stuff like that. And to put this together, guys, is the same thing that I'm using, the same principle, the pocket hole screws. Um, because it's a one-day build, and I don't want to wait on it. I use the same tool, bore some holes in the pieces, and then put a little glue on it, connect them together, screw them up, and then continue working guys that's it that is so simple um this little tool is called a pocket hole jig and you can get this um online for probably about a hundred dollars again guys i'm gonna list that in the description below um so i'm not sponsored by any of these things but because i'm an amazon affiliate um if i if you click on the link um, and buy anything from those links then amazon give me a little thing all right guys so that's it once you see any link in my videos that's what it's for um it's my little way of getting something for all these videos that i'm doing um just entertaining you guys and stuff like that again guys if you're new to the channel don't forget to like share and subscribe and share the video so as you can see the legs are ready guys um so i'm putting a hole right there that way i can screw down the tabletop all right so i know the professionals are like they don't screw down tabletops but i'm not a professional i'm just a diy guy doing stuff myself trying to save um 200 dollars um, by making a table myself so all right so that's a little thing there to make the table smart it's uh it's practically a, a socket guys um where you 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 basically plug stuff in um so i'm using this hole saw um this is like something they use when they're putting on doors um the door locks they bore the hole put in the door lock and stuff like that so but this is a bigger hole uh, much bigger than door lock so i punch a hole through that um that way i'll have space to put the 
space to put the the smart device guys it's just a socket it's a simple socket guys um so i measure that all uh, i measure the socket because it's a round socket and then i know what size hole to cut in the tabletop um see here am i now guys putting on another coat of this poly thing on it just to make it shiny as you can see guys it's just gotten way darker than it was before because i put the poly on it and there am i outside i put it outside that way it can dry faster that way i can finish this thing in one day guys so i'm back here i spread some plastic on my work table and i'm painting over the table so this is a white table the top is some sort of light brown and the bottom is white so i have white paint i have a lot of paint guys because this is how i buy paint i buy paint when i don't need it um so i'll be going to home depot and this is how i get cheap paint guys those five gallon buckets that you see for 250 dollars when i go into home depot i get that for 30 dollars guys 250 dollars versus 30 dollars because you go in there, you, you, you once you go into Home Depot, you go to a paint section and say, Hey guys, do you have any oops paint? So this is paint that like missed tint and they didn't put the right color in it. So it's a little bit off, but it's not terrible paint, guys. It's just a little bit off. So like this is not fully white and I got the entire five gallon for $30 because somebody wanted like maybe a half white and they didn't mix it properly. So here we go. All right. So we put in the device, the smart device here. And we screwed up the table is done guys it's done it's done it's done and it's smart so here it is finished product nice and shiny all right guys that's a 200 dollars deck so that's the thing right there is wireless charging and that's the usb sockets underneath there you can plug a laptop in there you can plug a phone in there you can put your phone on top of it to be wirelessly charged guys and that's it let's go upstairs and you guys can see where it fits and that's lucas testing out the table guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video peace out